Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for joining me for your weekly general reading. I hope you all are staying safe out there on this holiday weekend and staying cool out there because today was hot. At least in San Diego it was. It was like 100 degrees. I think in some places it was a bit more so I'm sure it was a scorcher wherever you were. So Let's get into your reading. Let's see what you have going on. All right. Somebody is creating. Come on, Scorpio. Somebody is creating. Somebody is in the lab. Somebody is working on new projects, new ideas, new ways of thinking. Um, really opening their intuition, opening their third eye, seeing things for what they are, and knowing that they are everything that they need. They can create whatever it is that they want they can create their own reality they're breaking away from illusions they're breaking away from people who are no longer serving them um, situations that are no longer serving them and they are working on their balance they are doing the balancing act so we have this card first then we have this one this horse broken free this came out for Gemini I want to say maybe cancer I can't remember but uh, this came out before and this car actually it just came out for Libra and it came out for a couple of other signs too I think this is one of the popular cards today because he, this man has not been able to stay in the uh, deck so this is telling me that people are really working on balancing doing balancing acts uh, as I said balancing your own energies your masculine your feminine energies of course but also balancing and working on strengthening situations as well maybe within yourself and again just working on your own um, projects and things of that nature so <clears throat> yeah somebody is busy they're creating something somebody is creative they're being creative they're manifesting something and it's kind of I don't know it's kind of like it's taken a lot of it's taken a lot of effort a lot of strength and a lot of you know just their their personal power not enough not a lot of where they're just they're depleted not that's not what I'm saying but they've had to build up the strength to move forward in this situation however that resonates with you they've had to build up their own strength and their own personal power and integrity in order to create this project or work on this um, new area of study or whatever it is however it resonates for you and it's taken a lot of effort a lot of effort to get here because as I said the path hasn't been easy but now you're here and now you're seeing that you are able to just make shit happen you are able to just make things happen. You're able to create things. You're being very creative right now. And some of these things that you're working, you, you're you just looking at it as if, oh, wow, I knew, you know, I, I, I knew it would be a success, but this is bigger. This is better than what I hoped for. So more is coming. But you're breaking away from some illusions. You're breaking away probably from your own um, your own self imprisonment and you're really mastering how to you're really mastering your mindset you're mastering your emotions you're setting boundaries for yourself and you're not letting anybody keep you in a box you're not letting anybody keep you in a space to where you're unable to grow because people will do that, unfortunately. And sometimes it can be the people who are um, in our lives, <clears throat> you know, whether it's family, friends, or coworkers, or anybody of that nature. But people are watching you. People see you doing this. People see you creating um, these, these things, this new life, money, getting money. Now the song Get Money Is In My Head by Junior Mafia. But look, if you're a hip hop fan, you know what I'm talking about. If not, look the song up. Maybe it resonates. But <laughs> um, you're doing the damn thing. That's what I'm getting. So you're making stuff happen. You're making, you're creating your own path. 
You're not relying on the path of anybody else and anything. Of course, you're getting help and you're getting assistance from people and pointers and things of that nature, but you're not putting your happiness in the you're not putting your happiness in the hands of someone else. You're not putting your healing in the hands of someone else either. And that was a phrase that I said yesterday. I think I was talking to myself. I do that a lot, so don't judge me. But, and I answer myself too. And I think I have pretty good answers sometimes. But uh, you are, you're standing up for yourself. You're carving your own way. You're carving your own path. You're not putting your health, your healing, your well-being into other people and other things. Because you're working on your balancing act right now. And you're balancing a lot of things in your life, whether um, that is dealing with family, friends, coworkers, children, your money. Again, balancing. I did mention getting money. So balancing checkbooks. Who knows? I don't know. This is your situation. I am just the messenger. So we have the five of emotions. And it's in reverse. So with this five of emotions, this is saying you, you're looking at the, you're looking at what you have versus what you don't have because maybe there were some things that were lost, maybe some people that you lost for whatever various reasons but now you are not focusing on the losses. You're focusing on the opportunities. You're focusing on the things that you do have left. And you're putting your all and you're putting your appreciation into those things. You're not focused on the things that are gone. And that's what I was saying. You're creating a new reality. You're creating a new reality for yourself. So... <clears throat> Some of you, you know, as I said, you're breaking out. You're breaking away from some delusions, some patterns, some toxic situations and things. But this is also saying to me that maybe, however this resonates in your life, maybe there was some things that, that did leave you. People who did leave you, who abandoned, who walked away from you. And in doing that, you had to really work within yourself to find that balance and it hurt it hurt a lot it hurt like hell but you finally came to a realization that if somebody or something needs to exit your life then you're totally fine with that instead of focusing on the losses you focus on what you have in front of you and this high well the high priestess comes out next right here and then we have the queen of inspiration right there. So yeah, this is telling me that you are, you, you, you stepped into your power. You have stepped into your strength. You found your voice to speak up for yourself, to cut out situations, cut out people. Your intuition has been screaming at you I think you know a lot of times we don't we go against our intuition we go against our gut instinct about certain situations but you've really been paying attention to your situation and information has really just started to come to you and even though I think you might be you might be feeling you might be a bit quiet you might be keeping some things quiet but you're working on some things as I said you come to this space where you're breaking free of the bull crap. Now you're saying, okay, let me remain a bit silent for now. Let me work on creating this new reality for myself and really finding my strength, really finding my voice, appreciating my inner beauty, my outer beauty, really just appreciating yourself. And going out, getting what you want. 
So you you're 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 uh, you're in that go getter mode right now. <clears throat> you're in the go getter mode right now. So <laughs> can't even can't even hate on that. I love it. Um, you're trusting yourself. You're trusting yourself more because you realize that, as I said, you you're you're not putting your health, you're not putting your happiness, you're not putting your power into other people or other things. You're taking these things within yourself. You have the answers. You know how to get to somewhere. As I said, you have help along the way. But for the most part, you're taking control of your own life. You're taking control of your own well-being. And you're really appreciating yourself. And you're really stepping up to the plate. Because I feel like in the past, you have focused so much more on these losses. And feeling as if something was taken from you. However that resonates, it doesn't always have to be people. It can be situations. Situations can drain us. Situations can make us feel as if a piece of us died. A piece of us was taken that we can never get back. But, and you know what? That might be true in a lot of ways. But the thing is, you kept yourself going enough. You turned that pain into power and you really became a very powerful force to rec be reckoned with. So that part of yourself that you thought you lost whenever this person or the situation or this job left you or you leaving them and you feeling, you know, a piece of you was left behind, you've regained that. You've regained that and you've reg you regained so much more than what you expected. As I said before, even you working on things, you know, you're working on things and saying, all right, this is just something small, but then it winds up turning into something that's really big and huge and beneficial. Truth be told. All right. Let's see. New life. Yep. Community. So we have truth be told. Then we have new life right there. And then we have community. Well, I did just say that, um, especially about the new life. You're working on a new life for yourself. You're working on different circumstances for yourself, for things that necessarily didn't go the way you maybe wanted them to, or there was just something off about the situation and you had to let it go, or there was some ending that happened with it. But... I feel that it's bringing you some renewed passion for yourself. You're feeling great about yourself. You're feeling more confident about yourself because this queen of inspiration is about confidence as well. So you're confidently going forward in life and speaking your truth. You are opening your heart. You're keeping your heart space open. You are expressing yourself in the way you need to be. You're changing. You're removing masks, maybe having shields and walls up that you possibly had before. You're now removing that because you recognize that, as I said, you recognize the bigger picture of things. Because if you spent your time focusing on the losses, you would not be able to see the the new opportunities coming, you wouldn't be able to appreciate yourself. You wouldn't be able to gain that confidence and that self-love that you really need at this time, especially now, you know, during this whole pandemic. But it's allowed you to really be open and it's allowed you to really express yourself and just change in different ways because you recognize that your life is going in a, another direction or, you know, a direction that you possibly never really thought. But it's a bit scary, but it's exciting at the same time. But it takes a community sometimes, you know, we all need help. As I said, um, you don't put your health and your healing and your all into anybody but when we need help, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help because I feel as if you, at one point, you were probably wanting to take on everything by yourself. 
you weren't really trusting your own intuition. You weren't trusting other people how to really handle you or handle your feelings. But now, because you've broken away from some um, situation, and because you're able to, you 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 were able to change your mindset, or you were able to just really change something. You gain more wisdom. Now that allowed you to see that there are people out here who are wanting to help, who are willing to help. But you were so, I think you, you were so just, you were in that low period, that low moment. Some of you probably, like I said, you weren't trusting yourselves, but you weren't trusting other people as well. So it, this, whatever happened, this balance has now allowed you to gain your confidence and now you're able to seek out help, seek out people, you know, that you need. Yeah, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, <clears throat> um, as I said, a lot of you are working on new projects, new ideas, creating new things, new businesses, new business opportunities, new ventures, things of that nature that will help propel you, that will help guide you, that will help, um, it, that will just kind of, it it'll keep your intuition open and it'll keep your confidence going as well. So this is this card right here. Then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yes, it is. And that's what you did. Um, letting this situation go or not focusing so much on the losses, you took back control of your life. And now you're in that queen of inspiration, that uh, high priestess, that energy right there. Male or female, it does not matter. These are energies. So don't get caught up on all that. Engagement. Ooh. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right. Some of you could be getting engaged. Um, if that's not for everybody, then uh, maybe you are, you are, you you're you're more engaging. You're very engaging to other people, but more importantly, you 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 you're committing to yourself. You are committing to yourself. That's what they're saying. And then free yourself right here. Wow! Look at this. This is in the same column. So we have this horse breaking free, right? Can you see that? I know it's a glare. Then the card that I just pulled, this is another horse. Free yourself, breaking free. It cannot get any more clearer than that, Scorpio. So if you are in a situation where you feel that you are constrained, where you feel that you are being manipulated, um, there's something just not right. Maybe now is the time to really just reevaluate whatever this situation is going on and ask yourself if you truly are happy, if you truly want to be here in this situation. Because now it might be the time to really free yourself. And if you free yourself, then it frees your mind to create, to go towards whatever it is that you really want to do. Because I feel as if um, maybe if it was a love situation or something, it was it was just it was taking a toll. It was too much. So maybe now is the time to focus on creation and making your life abundant. Focusing on your finances, your career, your study, anything that's going to help better yourself, anything that is going to help you commit to yourself and commit to. Um, bettering yourself and bettering your situation. So, Scorpio, that is all I got for you. I, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, as I said, stay safe out there um, in the holiday weekend. You know, all the craziness and things that happen. But stay safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. And that's it. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.